In the leg hug position, the feet are touching every so often or your legs are intertwined. This position subconsciously portrays a longing of one partner or both for more closeness, connection and intimacy. Yes, in this video, I sleep half naked next to Oliver only to show you the 12 most common couple sleeping positions and what they mean in terms of your relationship status. Yes, how you sleep with your boo says a lot about the status of your relationship. That's because the way we sleep says also a lot about your physical, mental and emotional state of being. And it also says a bit about what is going on deep down inside of you and me. That is because during sleep, we usually are not conscious or we are between the unconscious and the conscious realm. And thus we may act more naturally than during the daytime. The way I sleep, for example, says a lot about my really, really deep rooted desire for freedom. And thus it wasn't always super easy for Oliver to sleep next to me in the last 17 years. Oh, 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 you know what? At the end of this video, just because it's super fun, I'll ask my video team to do a little fun interview with Oliver and I, and we'll independently answer some questions like who of the two of us always sleeps naked, who likes to cuddle more, and many more questions. Make sure to watch that video until the very end. And if you want to learn how to connect more deeply with your partner and learn new ways to please your partner in bed, then make sure to sign up for my free pleasure masterclass. In this online masterclass, I'm sharing in great detail how to truly, truly satisfy a woman in bed, how to give her multiple orgasms, how to touch her G-spot and many more secrets. And the good news is this masterclass is entirely free and it will give you a complete insight into how women work sexually and how lovers can deepen their connection and their relationship. So if you want to take your relationship to the next level, then make sure to sign up for this online masterclass. All you got to do is just click the link up here. You can also find the link under this video. And as always, also make sure to follow my white bum on Instagram. I want to be friends with you. I want to connect with you a little bit more personally. So click the link up here or the link is also under this video. You know the drill. Okay, my baby boo, now let me show you the 12 different couple sleeping positions and what they mean in regards to your relationship status. Pretty good stuff. And make sure to also comment below which one is your favorite sleeping position in the comments below. Spam the damn comments. And at the end of the video, by the way, Oliver and I will reveal our sleeping position. Yes, let's go. Hold up, I ain't nobody you wanna fuck with. I ain't to body, I ain't no hobbyist. Now I got a pumpkin clump that'll dump six slugs in a pumpkin. Then I'll probably get complex. My goal is to come. The spoon. The spoon means that one partner is cocooning the other in a sideways hug. Cocooning usually shows a healthy connection, affection, and trust between a couple. It often shows a beautiful balance between protection and surrender holding and being held masculine and feminine energies and gives a feeling of being one for a moment. Number two, the chasing spoon. The chasing spoon is a position where one person has moved to one side of the bed and the other appears to be chasing them. This one may have a few meanings. It may mean that one person likes to be pursued by the other or that the same person needs space from their partner. It may also mean that the chaser is more needy of love and affection. In general, the sleeping position may signify some slight imbalances in the relationship that may easily be worked out. Number three, the facers. This position subconsciously portrays an open, loving and very honest relationship because you are sleeping with your hearts towards each other. It may mean that there's nothing unspoken or, or any repressed emotions between the couple. This sleeping position is usually in couples who are quite new into the relationship or couples who are coming closer to each other again after an argument. Number four, the gap. 
The gap means that the couple is sleeping face to face but with space in between. This position may mean that both partners desire more attention from each other but are failing to give it or don't know how to work through things. However, it shows a willingness to come close to each other and a need to learn how to better handle the relationship. Number five, the Liberty Lovers. The Liberty Lovers sleeping position means sleeping back to back with some space in between. If you have always slept like this as a couple, then this position may mean connection and independence at the same time. However, if you have had a more intimate sleeping position previously and now you have switched to this position, then there may be some issues between you and your partner. Number six, the cradle. When you sleep in the cradle position, it means you feel deeply, deeply connected, passionate for each other and you are in love. Subconsciously, you desire to be one with each other, wanting to connect and intertwine as deeply as possible. On top of that, this sleeping position adds lots of skin to skin connection, which releases more of the love hormone oxytocin. Number seven, the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger sleeping style is when both are lying on either side of a bed far away from each other, sometimes with a foot sticking out over the edge. In 2014, a survey of over a thousand people found that the further apart couples slept, the worse their relationship. Now this can be the case with the sleeping position, but it can also mean the entire opposite, which is that both people are happy with themselves and with their partner. Number eight, the hand holders. The hand holders means that the couple lies next to each other with some space in between and holding hands or gently touching legs or arms. This way of sleeping means that there is a deep soul connection between the two lovers combined with compassion and a deep caring friendship. Number nine, the teether ball. The teether ball means that the couple enjoys completely different sleeping positions while still maintaining connection with, for example, one hand resting on the partner's hip or back. This type of sleeping position shows great polarity in the relationship and it shows connection. It also shows two very, very different character styles who at the same time are very attracted to each other possibly because of the differences. In research, it's been shown that 94% of couples who slept while touching each other reported feeling happy with their relationship. That is because touching in even the smallest of ways can positively impact a relationship. Number 10, the leg hug. In the leg hug position, the feet are touching every so often or your legs are intertwined. This position subconsciously portrays a longing of one partner or both for more closeness, connection and intimacy, especially from the person touching the leg of the other person. If both of you are doing it, that's a good sign. But if only one person is into the leg hug, there may be a slight imbalance in the relationship and one yearns for more love, attention and connection. Number 11, the tangle. The tangle means that you are sleeping like in a close hug. This sleeping position may mean intensity, dependency or new love. It often happens after an intimate or emotionally intense situation. When a couple begins their night in the tangle, but then moves to their own space, it often means that there is a deep intimacy and also a healthy independence in the relationship. Number 12, the starfish. Sleeping in the starfish position means that one person is sprawling out across the entire bed where the other has to adjust to the space that the partner is asking for. Studies have shown that starfishes are the most likely to wake up feeling totally refreshed. This is because this posture helps diminish back pain since it distributes the weight across the widest surface of your body. However, this sleeping position can also show a power struggle or imbalance in the relationship since one partner dominates the space. 
You may also tell who's dominating a relationship by where their heads are when they sleep. When a couple's heads are at the same height, it may show equality. But when one person is sleeping closer to the headboard of the bed and the other places the head further away towards the middle of the bed, it may mean one is more confident than the other or one is more dominant while the other is more submissive. Okay, my sunshine, now which of these 12 sleeping positions is your favorite or which one do you you most often experience with your partner spam the comments i want to know drop the name of the sleeping position below now and as promised here's a little q and a with oliver and me and how we sleep you might be surprised how is it sleeping next to ajina uh, unruhig <laughs> i don't know the english word <laughs> the same question how is it sleeping next to oliver uh, Peaceful? Because <laughs> I never move. No, you never move. <laughs> what do you think it feels like for Adina sleeping next to you? Heaven. <laughs> what? <laughs> same question to Adina. What do you think it feels like for Oliver sleeping next to you? Exciting. <laughs> Always something new. Yeah. Surprise. Surprises? Exactly. What is Adina's favorite sleeping position? Uh. I would say on her back. On my back? Yeah. I always wonder how she can sleep like that. On my back? Yeah. I'm sleeping on my back. Yeah, like this. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sleeping like that. I don't even remember that I sleep in this position. What is Oliver's favorite sleeping position? Um, cuddling. In a cuddling position. No? Oh. Yeah? No? I don't know. What, what is a cuddling position? Anything with touching. Does Adina sleep naked? Yes. I can confirm that. Does Oliver sleep naked? Always! Always! <laughs> I don't know if he could sleep with something. Could you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I cannot. Do you always sleep in one bed? No. No. And I think actually it's good like that. Because when you're annoyed by someone, which you sometimes is quite often, then you don't want to sleep next to I them. just sleep in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> or in the other house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's healthy like that. Or it's in good. a hotel. Or in a hotel, exactly. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. Cuddle. Yes. Oliver hasn't had it easy with me in bed and yet somehow 17 years later we are still in this together. I guess polarity attracts. If you want to learn more secrets in bed and how to please your partner so that she can feel more intense, full body and satisfying orgasms, then please make sure to sign up for my free Pussy Pleasure Masterclass. I am sharing all my secrets with you on how to truly truly please a woman and i'm telling you you need to know those secrets if you really really want to be a good lover in bed so all you got to do is just click the link up here or under this video on join my online class level up baby also as i said before make sure to follow my white crazy ass bum on instagram because I need more friends and you need a friend like me. Okay, my mango, I am sending you so much love and I'm out here like my soul when I sleep. <laughs>